Good morning, 8th of July, heading towards the second mountain stage, the seventh stage of this year's Tour de France. Will be a hard one, Col de Aspin, so it's really the first mountain stage today and uh, yeah, the GC riders today will, will have to show who's really trying to go for the podium in Paris. So yeah, yesterday once again Kev, uh, it really seems like his preparation for the track Olympics is uh, a good way, has been a good way in preparation regarding this year's Tour de France. He's the good old Kev, he's so fast and um, it's not always about what per kilogram. For the sprinters, the max power is counting more. So even if he gets dropped on every hill, in the fast sprints, he's nearly unbeatable. So the three kilos more he put on, what he said, seems to be the little bit power which he didn't have the last three, four days, uh, years, sorry. The last three, four days, uh, he was really showing that he's currently maybe the fastest one in the flat sprint. So, chapeau, well done. Really nice, I like the team, I like Douglas Ryder, he did an awesome job, so dimension data. From my point of view, at the moment, the right boys to win. Ask Noodle, today we have the item, the issue, the theme, disc brakes. So what's the current status? The UCI finally forbid it, so Initially, in the early season, we had the first really good prototypes, close to the serial production already in the peloton, until the bad crash with, I guess, Ventoso from Movistar was really burned with a, a, a friction burning. Um, until this happened, they, they've been tested inside the peloton, but several people used it and several not. So, from my point of view, there has been, there has to be a rule, either Everybody uses it or nobody. So, ah, there's a lot of pro and a lot of contra. For the normal people like me, for the hobby riders, the marathonisti, the grand fondisti, there's for sure a lot of advantage in the downhill, in a long descent, even in wet conditions. Every other sport uses these brakes. Eh? There's nobody still using the old uh, brakes we are using on the rims, but yeah, in the end, if you get burned and if you nearly kill yourself in a big crash, there's still room for improvement. So just give everybody a little bit more time and space to improve this product and for sure it will be, it will be possible to ride it. Make everybody ride it or nobody and stop these crazy rules of the weight. 6.8 kilos, come on boys, that's a rule from like the second world war. Yeah, even with my 80 kilos, I'm able to ride a bike with less than 5 kilograms, including pedals, without having any security issues. I guess the industry has stepped ahead so far, so, so nice product on the market, so much engineering. A bit gets stopped through these old rules and I would kindly ask the UCI to improve these rules, to double check their, their own uh, Another word for rules? Their own regulations. regulations. Thank you. John Albersin, what's going on inside our own team? To be honest, I love the white jersey very much. I sort of designed it together with the boys from Ecce Ondo and the team. But I also have to admit uh, it's a bit problematic and strange with the visibility. In the end, it's good. We don't see the boys in Moto3. If we see them, it's in Moto2. But I really would wish, come on boys, we want to see you in Moto1 camera. So, today's breakaway, huh? Simon, something for us today. What do you think? Cold as per, that's nothing for you. Stage winner from last year. Come on boys, today the real Tour de France starts and I hope that it's not only Warren Bagill in sixth place of the general classification currently, it's also other boys like Simon who can do a proper job and I know you can do it. So, come on! So let's wait and see what will happen on the Col de Aspin today. The cards will be on the table, the GC riders will really show who's going to aim for the podium in Paris. My good old claim, fingers crossed for Giant Albacene and thanks for watching. Big news, eh? but yeah, besides the racetrack, it's a lot of stuff going on and yeah, we just found out that John finally 
talked about his future. To be honest, we are at the moment more interested in what happens on the road. And uh, as you can see here in my office, I really want John to be in that position very soon. So whatever you do, John, good luck. But now you're in our jersey, in a white jersey in the Tour de France. And I really hope you don't suffer too much in the next three days. We all want you to be back on the bike without grabbing the handlebar. <laughs> <laughs>